Wow, so many tourists. Must be quite the festival. I had the pleasure of talking to a mentor. Said it was presumptuous of me to think I could save the planet. She decides her own fate, you see. As rain cleanses the skies, so too does she cleanse herself of filth. So what? We sit here and theorize while the planet rinses and repeats? No, we fight, or nothing will change. That's what I said. I knew you'd see it my way, Merc. Thanks. Planetology, Avalanche, Marlene, and me. I don't know. The planet's trying to tell me something, but what? Planetology. Wow, so many tourists. The planet's trying to tell me something. Planetology, Avalanche, Marlene, and me. I don't know. Wow, so many tourists. Must be quite the festival. Look at them, gathered around the fire. Just like us that day. Me, and Mom, and Dad. If only we could do that again. Uh, never mind. Just forget I said anything. I'll lend an ear. Whenever I think about my mom, my chest swells with so much pride, I, I feel like it'll burst. But when it comes to my dad, I just... Sorry, I can't. Still not ready. Sorry, I can't. Still not ready. When you die, you return to the planet? That has literally got to be the dumbest thing I have ever heard. Once you die, that's that. Why do you think that? I just do. I believe in anything else until I see some actual proof. How much longer are they gonna be doing this? How much longer are they gonna be doing this? Man, I can't wait to see what they've got. Planned. Some say we're like grains of sand on the beach of the universe. Fatalist idiots. Spend my whole life trying to prove them wrong. But sitting here, looking up at the sky, Man, you kind of help feeling pretty minuscule. Like a grain of sand on the beach that is the universe. Man, I can't wait to see what they've got to The River of Lights, huh? I saw something about that in the brochure. So, I'm an ancient, as in a steward of the planet, one of those ancients. Or, to be more precise, the only ancient. For the most part, it's been a source of pain. I've been held against my will. I've been watched. I've been ignored. Even hated. And it's been that way ever since I was little. My blood's been nothing but a curse. If I ever started to forget, something would remind me of what I was and bring me crashing back down to Earth. It was always the same. Time after time. I'd be shown a glimmer of hope, only to have it snatched away. I was never going to be normal. That much was clear.
So my blood's been a curse, but it's also been a blessing. It's brought some wonderful people into my life, friends that I love. And for once, I think I'm okay. Happy even. And all that pain feels worth it. Even if I can't lead a normal life, there is one thing I can do. Return their kindness. And try to make the most of what I've been given. Sappy, huh? Meant every word, though. So, this is where you've been, Nanaki. What's up? There's something of great import I need to show you. And by that I mean all of you. Join me, would you? What did you all think of the River of Light? For whatever reason, the ceremony has gone a number of words in the veil as never be forgotten for their impressions. They often speak of how beautiful it was. Some claim they were even moved to tears. It's an overwhelmingly positive reception, I'm happy to say. To stir the human soul is no small feat. And it pleases me to know that the River of Lights possesses such power. Alas, I want you to my know, hopes I'm to parlay their emotional response into a deeper intellectual curiosity, they have yet you. to be fulfilled. People are surrounded by cats, dogs, birds, and trees. They know that life is all around them, be it through the birth of a baby or the blooming of a flower. They bear constant witness to the blessed cycle of creation, yet they've no interest in the welfare of our planet. <laughs> Forgive me for sharing my idle thoughts. Keeping them to myself is quite a challenge in my old age. like you to keep her company.
Today's experience was surely the will of the planet. May you cherish it always. This door was sealed so that none may enter. Why, yes, and by my own hand, no less. However, you've a trial to undertake. I do? If you wish to prove yourself and become a Watcher of the Veil, vale, that is. I presume you are prepared. Yeah. I will also require your assistance in carrying out the trial. Much danger awaits within, and I wish to ensure his safety. When you're ready, simply say the word. Imagine the hardship she must have faced. I command you. You're fine just the way you are. This evening, sir. Eventually, the day will come when we too are counted among. Because she is confident that we have the strength to overcome it. The fact that we stand here today, alive and well. Having overcome our challenges is ruthless. Indeed. I want you to know I'm not all of us here are ready. For better or for worse, this world is a far cry from that in which the Cetra once lived. I'm glad to know that Aerith has friends like me. Today's experience was surely the will of the planet. Shall we? Shall we? Well, off we go. Now we follow the cave where it leads, deep as it will take us.
Has Nanaki told you anything about his parents yet? Nope. They were watchers, both of them. But they couldn't have been any more different. When our village came under attack, my mother fought with courage, with honor. She faced the enemy and laid down her life to save us. My father, though, he turned tail and ran. He was a coward. So then, you still haven't forgiven him. Why would I? I see. From this point onward, only two may proceed. He who shall undertake the trial, and his observer. Who's gonna observe? I'll do it. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that would render the trial meaningless. But if not him... Ah, you do nicely. Me? Him? Really? At least pretend not to hate me. <laughs> Whenever you're ready. Ready. Gonna watch my back. Yep. Burning holes in you right now. <laughs> Blessings of the planet upon you. Blessings of the planet upon you. These caves can be perilous, even for seasoned watchers. Be careful.
What is this? This is a place of deep sorrow. A place where those who have been sealed away are left to mourn their fates. We ain't no walking away just let yourself up into another. <laughs> As if I weren't going to already. Gotta fight! Got a whole heap of land! Don't worry about it! Anarchy. Look here. Huh. Such walls should be well within your power to climb. you run off to?
<laughs> that doesn't look convenient. We got two legs here, you know. you run off to? Yeah. 
Damn if that doesn't look convenient. Under normal circumstances, I would stress that you mustn't judge a book by its cover. For the Gi, however, they are as fearsome as their appearance implies. These are the things that killed my mom? Nanaki, this shall be your first trial. You are to explore this place. Understand the nature of its history. Okay, will do. If it isn't a key arrow, its point is coated with a poison that rapidly circulates through the body, slowing the wounded until they are completely turned to stone.
Ah, yes. An armament of the Vale. The carvings on its hilt should look familiar. Indeed, you'll find the very same markings on your own body. you fought was a fallen key. Even in death, their lingering enmity manifests as such. They who wander in search of retribution. That's kind of pathetic. Do not be so quick to denigrate your enemies, nor make light of their plight. Consider this statue. It has been placed in this chamber for a reason. Handle it with the utmost care. I will. Deliver unto us the remnants of our past.
Are these altars? Interesting, because my first thought was, are we going to make it out of this place alive? <laughs> its decor is indeed the opposite of inviting. These look like the statue I picked up. If there is a reason for everything, then one could argue that everything has no reason. Regardless, you know what you must do, don't you? Deliver unto us the remnants of our past. Restore them to their rightful place. Got two legs here, you know.
here. What? The veil is intertwined with the key, for they first came to these lands many millennia ago. This sanctuary is proof of their persistence, for it was built to ensure that they never escaped. But if they were sealed away thousands of years ago, how'd they break out and attack the veil? That I cannot answer. Only the key themselves could. But enough about them. You are here to learn about yourself, Nanaki. This cave serves as a boundary between our world and that of the Gi. It was vital to them and their plans. Were the key to seize control of it, the canyon would be doomed. And the people. And the key moved against us yet again. A certain watcher recalled this vulnerability. Huh? 